Hello everyone. So today we're going to be discussing the next steps after we finish our personal symbolism worksheet. You should have worked on that for your at-home work, so you should have quite a bit of work done on that. So our next steps are going to be moving on to our quilt layout, where we'll be focusing on overlapping shapes and combining our overlap shapes with our personal symbols. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick overview of overlapping, and I'll also give you a step-by-step -step demonstration of how to begin your quilt layouts. So let's get started. So let's begin by discussing what is overlapping. Overlapping is the placement of shapes or objects on top of one another. By overlapping shapes, you create visual layers, and we're using these visual layers to emulate a real quilt. The word emulate means to mimic or to copy. So as we're making our drawings, we're not literally overlapping our fabric layers like they do in real quilts, but we're going to be overlapping shapes to mimic and copy the feeling of a real quilt. So we're discussing overlapping in terms of creating an emulated quilt, but I want to also discuss that overlapping can be found in many different art forms. Where do you see overlapping in this photo? Talk with your table partners for 30 seconds and decide where do you see overlapping? All right, everyone, let's reel it back in and focus again onto the video. So I see a lot of overlapping in this photo. I see overlapping in the foreground as well as the background. In the foreground, that is what you see that is closest to us. So those flowers in the foreground are overlapping the mountains in the background. So we can find overlapping in landscapes, and we can also find overlapping in still lives. Still lives are a setup of objects often placed in front of and behind one another and artists use these as subjects to paint or draw. These are usually objects that don't move, so that's why they're considered still lives. The last example I have for us here is of a comic book. So notice that the text in the comic book is overlapping the background and many different um, comic books or magazines, you'll notice overlapping of text and also of images. So now let's explore how to overlap shapes for our quilt drawings. So your first step is to decide if you'd like to have a border around your quilt layout. If you do, that's going to be your first step to create that border. The next step is to draw one shape anywhere on your paper. This can be an organic shape or a geometric shape, but start with one shape. Now use that first shape as a jumping off point for your next shapes. So I'm going ahead and making it look as though these shapes are behind my first one. Next I'm choosing a spot on my paper to put another lone shape. So another shape by itself and use that shape again as another jumping off point to create more shapes. After this, you'll now fill in all of your negative space with some shapes. So any space left over on your paper that isn't filled by a shape, go ahead and fill that in. Any shapes you'd like, organic or geometric, it's your choice. So begin drawing your personal symbols into your shapes. As you draw, overlap your symbols on top of the shapes and use your eraser to get rid of any lines that may be in the way of your symbol. 
You also can keep your personal symbols inside of one shape, or you can choose to overlap it over many different shapes. So once you've drawn your symbol, erase any of those pencil lines that are in the way of your personal symbol. And then go ahead and use your pencil to fill in anywhere you may have accidentally erased. So before we get to our final quilt drafts, it's important that you practice this in your sketchbook. So once you're done with your personal symbolism worksheet, I'd like you to open up your sketchbooks and begin practicing your quilt layouts.